Paradise into Lekka? Well, if so, stay tuned because I'm putting the Bird of Paradise, the Strelitzia. Actually, I've already put it into Lekka and I want to give you some tips. Stay tuned. <laughs> Great, so you've got a bird of paradise and you want to put it into Lekka. I have one in Lekka and two that are buried in the graveyard. One plant today because it's kind of in its own family. I want to show you this one. See how beautiful that is? Well, it's not so beautiful on the bottom because they are kind of slow adapters. See that bottom? Let me see if we can get this one. Da, 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 da. from top to bottom. Um, it does have one, two, three, three new leaves coming out. And I'm going to hold it up so you can see the little sword. See that sword? That's a new leaf. Okay, so I love these plants. Convert these to semi-hydroponics. And honestly, if I'd killed five or six, I would have still tried because I just knew in my heart of hearts, if it converted, then it would be a game changer for me. And the reason it's a game changer is because of the shape of these. They grow so nice. It's not compact, but pretty compact and just up, up, up. And you can kind of set it and forget it. Water it once a month in the Lekka and they do great. This one died, but it I actually had quite a few water roots and was going to live, and I put it on the balcony. And in Texas, when you put a plant outside, a house plant outside, especially a tropical one like this one, you're kind of taking your plant's life in your hands because we get 40 degree fluctuations Right now we're getting them almost daily. So that one, I don't know if it's really fair to say I killed that one in Lekka because I did put it outside and it froze. Okay, I think it actually would have made it. The second one died after the, doing the first one that, oh, you do what we do. You, you take it out of the dirt, you wash the roots really well, you put it in Lekka, you can even water it and then you're gonna forget about it for at least a month. Do not water it. Well, the second one I knew the rules, okay? And then I stuck it in a corner that was pretty dark um, and there was not really any filtered light. And this one actually was in behind me in this corner. It'll start, you can tell there's like some growth and it'll start perking up a little bit. What kind of light it gets in the afternoon. Now this is afternoon sun. It doesn't seem to get sunburned and it's just now it's really pushing out new growth. So I think the key with this one, set it and forget it and then make sure it has a really good light either shining above or below something. If you're in an apartment and it's in a corner, I love this one because of the, I need this shape a lot. Big and bushy is really hard for me to accommodate in my house. I have lots of little corners. So I wanted this to work out because I will be getting more of these. I love them. I love how tropical they are. And if you give it enough light, it will flower. So that's the Bird of Par Paradise, the Strelitzia. I do want to show you its pot. The reason I like this pot for this particular plant is planted it closer to the bottom and I wanted the bottom, I wanted it to be narrow at the bottom so there's just like a little less water. Um, I wanted to, I didn't want it to be wide and fat. Um, so that's kind of why I picked this pot, the bottom hole. So when I water it, uh, I just, you know, to control water, if I need to take out some water or something, I would just kind of pour it out of the bottom. Now though, I can tell by how robust it is up here that now we are cooking basket. Now, since I'm not doing a house tour and I'm just covering one plant today, I really quickly want to talk about, people all the time ask me about the pots that I get. No. Where's my sprayer? Here it is, here it is. I'm watching you. He's hiding behind the curtain. That's so funny. 
Okay. So, all right, let's talk about pots for a second. A lot of time people ask me about my pots. You've probably noticed a lot of my pots have pop-ups. There's a long history to my pop-up pots. Um, I started with Lechuza. Lechuza is a great brand. If you watched Kaylee Ellen in the last week, she did her first plant in semi-hydroponics and she used a Lechuza planter. I love them. Aesthetically, they're gorgeous. However, they're kind of expensive. Um, Easy Grow Hydro. First of all, I am not sponsored. I should be getting a coupon for everyone, but he's so busy. We just haven't gotten to talk about the coupon thing. Um, Jerry is my friend at Easy Grow Hydro. A lot of my planty information I actually got from Jerry. He's been doing this for 30 years, um, doing this as in semi-hydroponics. He's in love with semi-hydroponics. He's a pioneer for semi-hydroponics or passive hydroponics, whatever you wanna call it. He has taught me so much and that is my payment. I, to me, if I, if someone helps me grow my plants and gives me an education on growing my plants in LECA, honestly, to me, that's worth more than money. It frees me up to have more time with my children, my husband, go on vacations, and really to not worry about my plants if I'm gone for a week. So thank you to Jerry. I will link his um, information down below. Um, all right, so I'm gonna tell you the prices of my stuff because one lay choose a planter can be 25 to 40 dollars depending on the size that you get which is fine you know we all spend money on what we want to spend money on but if you can save money the other cool thing about lechuza is they are in um the international scene the only really bad thing about easy grow hydro is right now it's just america we'll open it up to the international community i think it's really important that he ships internationally three of these okay so these are the ones you always see me like pulling out um this is a six inch culture pot for semi-hydroponics um and the way it nests inside of of course i don't have the outside pot but it's flush with lechuza there's actually some it, it's it's in it's inverted so see this thing on the bottom you're supposed to fill just this layer with leca and the plant touches this so you're giving the plant a nice one inch of leca kind of surrounding here but it's supposed to you know that's who told me about planting it lower and i think he's right you just want to give the plant one inch of leca and then boop roots okay um, Jerry also told me about going down a pot size and I'm finding that's crucial for your planty success. It was $2.75. Okay, and the cool thing about Jerry is you can buy his components separately. So this, these are the parts. Um, this is an outer pot. Now the outer pots are more expensive. This is $9.75, $2.75. And then this was probably $1.75 for this pop-up. Pop-up has a floater inside and it will tell you. Now, just in case you do order these, this is to be ignored. This top section, if the thing goes up in there, it's way too much water. Honestly, if I get it to go right to this little, right there at the very bottom, that's all I do for at least six months no matter what the plant is, okay? I love this one for philodendrons. A lot of them, especially climbing ones, are kind of tall, they have this kind of tall root system. And so I love the tall planter for my philodendrons. Like this one behind me, I wanna show y'all. This is the Mayoi, philodendron Mayoi. I love this one. This one, it's just this, and you can kind of lift it up. Now this one's heavier. You lift it up, now I have a bunch of water and water roots. And, um, and then right in the middle, there's a cutout in here. Now, one thing you wanna avoid is, like this is a system. You can get the floater and this for under $5. This system can go into a really cute basket. And so that's what I do with a lot of them is, you know, I just do plastic, plastic, cute basket. I rhymed. Okay, here's another one. My jewel orchid is kind of down 
It, this actually is a planter that just has plastic inside. It came, it's a planter. And these perfectly fit. If you're not sure, when you go um, to, I, I get all of my stuff pretty much at TJ Maxx Home Goods and Jerry, okay? Sometimes Lowe's. If you're not sure, take this with you. Go to TJ Maxx and put it down inside of planters until you find one that is aesthetically pleasing and this fits nice and snug. If you put this in, in like um, a, a bottom part that's like a 10 inch, this is a five inch and you put it in a 10 inch bottom, your plant's not gonna like it because it's too much water. You don't want it swimming in the lake. You want the water to be hugging so much water. I've killed a couple plants like that where it's a cute pot, cute outside pot. I have an eight inch saucer and then I just plop this inside and it can't absorb all the water and it's just not a good symbiotic relationship. You're going for that good relationship because if you get the good relationship and you get past the first three to six week period and it looks like the plant's taking off, now we can go on vacay, okay? When you first start with semi-hydroponics, I feel like the pots are an issue. I started feeling a little overwhelmed by the pots and I want y'all to know what my thought process is when I'm kind of taking a plant out and putting it in a basket or you know how I kind of go through that. So that's Easy Grow Hydro. I've covered that. I'm putting his link down below. Love him. One more little note about Easy Grow Hydro. I've noticed he has up to 35,000 subs on his YouTube. So, and he's older. Jerry is probably, I don't want to say the age that I think he is, but he is an older gentleman. So, and I think he's doing it by himself. So he's selling the pots. He orders them from Germany, gets them in. I have a feeling he and his wife are doing the shipping. Probably, hopefully by now he's hired someone, but have patience with him. Um, I'm in the same group you are. So sometimes my pot comes in three days and sometimes it takes a week and a half, which is really hard if you're a plant person and you're like ready and then you're waiting for your pots. So just be patient with him. That's Easy Grow Hydro. Hope your Strelitzia is on the horizon for moving into semi-hydroponics. Please stay tuned for more videos. Okay, I'm taking the weekend off guys and I'll see you Monday. Love you. Bye-bye.